In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with your designer account from WebStarts. Your designer account is a great way for you to run your own web design firm or web hosting company. The first thing you'll need to do is enter in a business name. For this example, I'm going to choose Pinwheel Designs. The next thing you'll want to do is enter your phone number. Then click Next. Click on Add or Update Designer Logo, and you'll be able to upload a logo for your designer account. After just a few moments, your logo will upload, and then click Next. Now the last thing you'll need to do is create a domain name for your designer account. So I'm going to click Add Domain Name. And I'm going to choose to register a new domain name, but you can also choose to register an existing one that you've already purchased. I'm going to say pinwheeldesignfirm.com, and then I'm going to check availability. Now, pin, pinwheeldesignfirm.com is not available, so I'm going to choose pinwheeldesigns.com and check availability. Oh, that's not available either. So, I'm going to have to choose Pinwheel Pinwheel Design Firm Co.com. So, it's not that great, but I'm going to check availability and certainly that's available. So, I'm going to choose to register this domain name. Okay, great. Looks like my information is pre populated. I'm going to click here to continue. And now I'm going to choose a designer URL. And what this is, is it's your web address that your clients can come to to log in and manage their website if you want to give them access yourself. So by default, it wants to set it up at manage.pinwheeldesignfirmco.com, but I can change this first part to whatever I want. So it could be edit.pinwheeldesignfirm.co. Once I've chosen the URL that I want my clients to be able to log into, I click Update. Notice a little message here that says, please allow up to 15 minutes for that change to take effect. And now I click OK. All right, I'm ready to create some clients. So I click on the Manage Clients link. And here I click the button to add a new client, my first client. I'm going to call my first client, Joe Smith, and I'm just going to say, Joe Smith at webstarts.com for this example. And I'm going to say Joe Smith's website as my website title. Now, as you can see, all of those fields are valid and available, so I click Next. And now I'm going to choose from one of either WebStarts beautiful pre-designed websites, or I'm going to choose from the designer community, some of the sites that some of our designers have built as templates. Or I can also choose from my own designs. Of course, I haven't created any designs yet, so there's nothing available for that. I'm just going to go back to the stock templates and choose this first one. I can also search my templates or designs by category as well. I'm going to click Create Site. And just like that, I've created a site for Joe Smith. And by clicking on that link, I can preview Joe Smith's website. Now, if I want to add a domain name to Joe Smith's website, what I have to do is come over here to Domains and then use a domain credit by clicking Add Domain and then finding uh, the domain that I want. And then uh, what I do is I eventually link that back to the site by clicking this little Edit icon. And then over here on the left, I can choose which, or on the right, I can choose which website I want to associate the domain name with. So for example, I could actually make my client Joe Smith's domain name, Pinwheel Design Firm's co, Design Firm co .com. But for this example, I'm going, just going to uh, go back over here to clients, show you some of the other things. Now I can edit my client site just by clicking here. And now I'm logged in and I'm seeing the same view that my client will see if I provide him with the username and password and the link for him to log in and make changes to his own site. Now, something that's important to notice is that your client will never see webstarts.com. This is your business, and you can run it the way that you would like. 
Uh, one of the things that we try to do is stay out of the way and make it look like it's your own proprietary software. So here I can edit the website that I built for my client. And just like that, I can start making changes. I can save and publish those changes at any time. Okay. And then just a reminder, if I ever want to change any of the client information, I can click on Edit Client. If I ever want to change any of the information that has to do with my business, for example, if I want to display my phone number on this link, I can do that at any time. Now, that link didn't work because it's still in the process of setting up, but I'll show you momentarily what that will look like. One of my favorite features of the designer platform is the ability to create your own template. So what I can do, do as a web designer is I can create a website layout one time and then I can name that. I'm just going to call it website layout. I can name it whatever I want and then I can choose to either copy a design that I made. Like for example, I made this website for Joe Smith and I can choose to make it public and share it with other designers in our web starts designer community and I can even assign it some categories if I'd like. Uh, but once I'm ready to create a copy of that particular design, I can, I can choose create. And now what it will become is a template available for me to use over and over again. And what this does is it makes it super simple for me to easily create a lot of websites and here you can see that you have the option to delete or preview that particular design like you can see there there's the design I did for Joe Smith and I can choose whether I want to share that with the web starts designer community or not now I can create several several of these designs so maybe I have three or four layouts I like to use over and over uh, this is a great tool to save you a ton of time by just creating you know, three, four different layouts, some of the different looks and feels, and then you just make copies of those for each new client that you sign on as a web designer. So let me go back here and just check. Oh, it's still not working. It will take up to 15 minutes for that to work. But if you want to see what that looks like, all you have to do is click here, Edit Site. It's going to look, at, look like this, but it's not going to be at the webstarts.com domain. It's actually going to be at your domain name, manage your domain name or edit dot your domain name or whatever you chose on the uh, page where it allowed you to specify the subdomain that your clients go to if you want to allow them to log in and access uh, their own website. You don't have to do that, but it's something that you can do if you wish. So that about wraps up everything inside the Web Starts designer platform. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give us a call at 1-800-805-0920 if you have any questions. This is an awesome and powerful tool that will help you build a money-making machine online. It's really great. And if you ever have any questions about it, we really want to support you uh, at a very high level on this product and make sure that your business is successful. So don't hesitate to either call or email us anytime. Thank you once again for watching, and don't forget to visit webstarts.com and sign up for this desi designer platform today if you haven't already.